Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. In today's video we are going to containerize an Angular project. So let's do it. The first thing we need to do is to create the Angular project. And to do so we need to run the command ng-new and then the name of the project, in this case is Angular Docker. So now all the packages has been installed. Now we need to open a new VS Code window. So now we need to create our project. Here I will erase all the thing. Then I need two images, first image of Angular and a Docker. Now I need to put a section and two images, first image, the class. Title, I love Docker and Angular. Perfect. Okay, we need to put the source of the images, Docker. Okay. This one is Angular. alternative text in case the image doesn't work and then we need to set a class and need a container class title okay we need to create the classes Container first. So for this we need a height. 100 view height. Then a width of some 100 percent. Okay, ng serve works to run the 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 Angular project. So right now I'm working in, in the classes, but the Angular project is serving. Okay, position relative, then the Docker image, we need a width, position. Left. Okay, this calculus I will get from the width. Okay, I need to put something right here because if not, I will have an error. Right now it's a random number. I'm not sure if it will fit in the screen. Oops, I saved. And done. Okay, let's set a font size. Three RAM. Okay, I finished this with the text align to center. Local host for it two zero zero. It's right here. Okay. Yeah. HTTP and there you are we need to change the size of the image okay the top 30
There you are. This one is the half of the width to center the, the H1 in, in the view. So all is centered, all is well. So let's start creating the Docker file. Docker file. Stage one. build okay we need a from a base image in this case we need the node i will take the 12 and alpine okay for someone who doesn't know what is alpine alpine is a distribution of linux it is very light this makes this distro a great image base for any utilities you want to create so then I declared an app, a work gear app, and then I will copy the package JSON to the project. Yeah. Then I need to run npm install to run the, the package JSON. Then I need to copy all the information. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then run npm run build dash dash prof okay this is the way to run the, the production build from angular we need a stage 2 to make the run first we need uh, another image a base image in this case it will be engines and for those who doesn't know what is engines is a reverse proxy server it works with http and https and other protocols it has a strong focus in high concurrency high performance and low memory usage that's why it is used to serve in containers so next thing we need to copy the whole information that we had in the stage one So making the build, we will have uh, this, this folder that is this. Okay, let's, let's run right now. ng build dash dash prod. Oops. Okay. And then you can see it will generate a folder right there we have this folder and inside we have all the binaries of from angular so we are searching this folder and then we need to put it into share engines html okay then we need to the port in this case I'm using the 80 and the commands we need three commands we need engines oh we need dash g and daemon of okay that's all for the docker docker file as you can see here we are asking for the nodes then we are creating the work dir app then we are copying the package json to that directory then running npm install that is right here this one that contains all the packages that we need to run angular then we copy the whole to the project then we run npm run build prod to get this this folder and then we ask for the for the engines image 
we copy the information that we get in the build one that is that folder then we expose the the application in the 80 in the port 80 and then we run the command and that's all let's check that i will increase okay there is no image running and no image not container running and not container in our, in our docker so let's build the image okay let's tag and then build the hole well right here is is building the image it is a little bit slow so I fast it up then we need to run the, the, the container and let's check the image okay we have right here our image docker run dash t dash it in this case i have dash d to run in in the background and dash it to run in the the console so in this case it will not work in the console it will run in the background okay dash p for the port then a name for the com for the container and we need the build yeah that's all and right now it's running as you can see it it runs in the background let's see okay it's right there it is up it is running it's running we can see here that we have our container running it has only 3.9 megabytes and we are we have the port 8000 okay and voila there is running we have our i love docker and angular application running in docker let's check in another window and there you have i will stop it and let's check voila we don't have access so start again and oh it's working so let's check the image okay it's running this command as you remember and about a minute ago it is up and the port 8000 is going through the 80 port that we exposed the name is angular docker and that's all let's stop it okay it's not running not running not running okay there is a container we need to to remove it this is to know wh which containers we have so let's remove that container and that's all we don't have any containers right now let's check the or images right there we have all our images let's remove them we need to remove it by the id docker offer us the the autocomplete for the id it's all it's deleting yeah i finished let's check the images again there's no image thanks a lot everyone i hope you enjoyed this video and like and subscribe if you want more content like this and see you soon bye bye